If you have already installed WISE and Unreal, you can open the Audio Kinetic Launcher and move over Unreal. Here you have all your Unreal project. So we can select Integrate WISE into project. In my example, I want to integrate the tutorial WISE 01. And from the top, we can select the WISE version we want to use. Of course, you need to have your SDK files installed. Otherwise, uh, you'll see an, a red message telling you that you don't have all the components needed. Since we want to create a new WISE project, we'll leave this section blank. So it will automatically create our project. But if you want to integrate an existing project inside your Unreal project, you simply need to open this drop down menu and select your folder path. And now we can click over integrate. If you see this red message, simply click over retry since during the integration, WISE could have missed some files. Now that the operation is completed, you can open both your Unreal and WISE project from the Audio Kinetic Launcher. Depending on the Unreal version you're using, you could find some differences between layouts, but the main settings are just the same. The first thing we need to do is to go over Edit, Project Settings. From here, we can scroll down. You should see WISE. We can select Integration Settings. So the first one is the WISE Project Path. Uh, this is where your uh, WISE project is saved. Then under Sound Data, we have the WISE Sound Data folder. Uh, this is the folder where all the data, all the sound banks are stored. And moving down here, we have Use Event Based Packaging, which is a new feature that was uh, introduced starting from WISE 2019.2.1 which enable very cool features like automatic sound bank creations. So I really recommend you to use this event based packaging. So we can click uh, to true. What it says is that it improves the overall workflow, uh, especially using WAPI and we'll come to it uh, in a few seconds. And you can click over yes. By default, the WISE integration generates an init bank, which we no longer need, so we can delete it. And here Unreal is saying that we need to restart, but uh, we'll do it later. Now we can move inside the user settings. And, and here we have a very important settings. The first one is the enable automatic asset synchronization which is crucial, so turn it on. Down here we see WAPI, which is the WISE authoring API used to communicate with WISE. Here you can see the IP address, which is the local host, since I'm using WISE uh, on my computer. The WAPI port, which by default is set to 8080. And here we have auto connect to WAPI, which should be turned on as well for auto sync selection. Now we can close the project settings. We can save and move to WISE. From here, we need to go over projects, user preferences. You need to enable WISE authoring API. Uh, in my case, it's already uh, checked, so I don't, I don't need to do anything so I can close this window and I can save as well. Moving back to Unreal, we can now restart the engine and we'll see in a couple of seconds. Once you have restarted your Unreal engine, you can move over WAPI Picker, which is a window where you can see all the elements such as events, switches, triggers from WISE. It comes really handy since you can see all the uh, WISE elements without moving to WISE. 
if you compile wise and if for any reason you see this error which is WAMP call error uh, it's not a problem since the audio kinetic developers know about this issue but it seems to have no effect on your workflow so you can leave it as it is or you can simply click uh, over your, your error right click add messages to ignore list so you won't see this specific message anymore now let's play our first audio we can click over project import audio file add file navigate to the folder where you have saved your audio file click open here it is the audio file and we can simply import it by default audio files are imported in the actor mixture hierarchy inside the default work unit so we can expand it and here we have our audio file now we can right click new event play and here we can write play sound codex now moving back to Unreal, you'll see that inside the WAPI picker you have your play event and of course your audio file. If you move to the content browser and you scroll down until you see the WISE audio, you see that you have a bunch of folders. You can go inside the events folder default work unit and here you have your play event. Now you can drag and drop it in the viewport by doing so it will automatically create an AK component which is the corrective of an ambient sound and by scrolling its detail panel you'll see auto post and you have to turn it to true by doing so this event will be called as the game starts so we can now save and play the game. <laughs> 